The second paragraph comprising of question number 17 and 18 is also very beautifully framed. Let me explain it. There is a cylinder and this curved surface is insulating. The upper plate and the lower plates are conducting. And here is the potential difference, the amp meter. There are soft balls which are coated with conducting material and they have radius r and that value is much much less than h. Now what happens? You can easily see that whenever there are soft conducting balls and they are connected to this. So the point is say the potential of this is at v0 that's given and this potential is minus v0 that's also given and the net potential difference comes out to be 2 v0. The potential has to be given and it's given in the original question. Now as the balls are there, initially if they are neutral, you see, they would soon acquire a potential minus V0 and after that they would be going up because see, once the potential of this and this would be equal, this would also acquire a certain charge. So that would be at the same negative potential, so that would be repelled and it would go up and once it goes up, the question asks you to assume that the ball sticks to the upper plate. This much is the information which is given in the question. That part I didn't write that the ball sticks here and you know after it gets repelled it goes and it again sticks there. So that part is properly given by the question. And the potential of this is minus V0 and this is V0 that's also given. So the point is see these are conducting balls. Once they become equipotent with the lower plate they would be repelled and they go up, they stick there and after that whatever comes we got to predict. The first thing is say the correct options out of this we need to see execute SHM will not be there because you know the acceleration here is constant, constant due to this particular potential difference and we also need to neglect gravity that's also given by the question. You see the ball will go up and say initially it's negative, when it goes up then it would get neutralized and again it would be positive and the same story as it went up it would come back. So option number D is the correct one, the balls will bounce back carrying opposite charges they went with. So that was question number 17. Now let's try to solve question number 18. Question number 18 part C, after some time the amp meter would register current because originally say if this is the situation minus Q would go there after some time when it sticks here and comes back Q would be coming here and even the collision between the balls has to be neglected that's also given in the question. Now let's try to say it's something like initially minus Q after some time Q so let's try to find how much is the average current. To do that you see current Average Q by T where T is the time that the charges or the balls take to reach either of the plate. But the first point is say, let's try to calculate the time. H would be half of A T square, so which would be Q into 2 V naught by H into T square. Because the, and I require M as well. Look, half a t square acceleration is q into electric field divided by mass into t square that's a point. Now let's try to see another point h would be half even this 2 and 2 would get cancelled this q would be directly proportional to v naught. How so? Let's try to see because it's something like a capacitor you may understand that the q here finally is the charge when it leaves so that means by that time it would have acquired potential V0. So Q directly proportional to V is a very valid assumption. And now say you would be getting rest all is constant. The time is inversely proportional to V. Now here Q is directly proportional to V and the time is inversely proportional to V. So that would make V square and option number C would be the correct answer. So quite wonderfully made question. Together with this question number 18, we also finished the entire paper. So this was the discussion as regard to paper 2, JEE Advanced Physics that was conducted today on 22nd May 2016.
hope this discussions were helpful and if you are the one you're watching and you have just given your examination i wish you all the best and for any candidate who are watching these videos who are not 2016 je advanced candidate i hope the lectures were very helpful thanks for watching thank you very much